you cannot be a great musician if you don't know how to listen. It's, that's the key because the art form of music is listening, is hearing. Um, we play, people pay money to come listen to us, you know. So if we don't know how to listen, <laughs> you know, we're at a disadvantage. And, uh, you know, a lot, many times there will be people in the audience that can hear just as well or maybe better than some of the musicians. And like I, I tell my students, that should never happen. That's like going to the, to the doctor's office and you know more than the doctor. You know, the, the audience should never be able to hear better than you. So um, that's very important. Hearing is like a fingerprint. And I think everybody here is different. And that's what makes a great musician have, you know, figure out how to find their own sound. Like, Be nobody can sound like Beethoven. Nobody can sound like Mozart. Nobody can sound like Duke Ellington. Nobody can sound like Miles because they all found the way that, the, that they heard. You know, they found out how to tap in to what only they could hear. And, and that's going beyond, you know, that's going beyond just what's here because everything you hear, every music that you hear, somebody else heard it first. You know, they had to because you didn't hear it first, so they created. So now you want to add to that, so you have to, figure, you have to find out how to tap into what only you can hear. You know, I know I have a lot of students, they, they ask me, well, I don't like my sound. And I say, well, what do you want to sound like? Well, they don't know. I said, well, you can't find a sound if you don't know what you're looking for, you know. So once you make up your mind of what, you know, have an idea of what you want to sound like, at least you have something to shoot for.